Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, konnichiwa. Yesterday we learnt a lot of new vocabulary, a lot of new grammar, some new kanji characters. So, kyo mo onaji koto o yarimashou. Let's learn some more Japanese today. Kyo mo nihongo o benkyo shimashou. So, well, let us see what we have here. As we always do, it's your assignments. So, well, first of all, we will do the assignments and then go on to doing our lesson. The first assignment that I gave you yesterday was match group A with group B. So, I hope all of you got it right over here. All your uh, sentences are done properly. Now, the second one is as we always do write the correct readings of the kanji characters given below. I have the meanings also listed for you here. So, well, you can also check the meanings in the right column. Now, the third assignment is write kanji characters for the words given below. So, well, you can practice these kanji characters, write them properly. You have the stroke order given, you can practice it according to the stroke order. Now, we have fill in the blanks over here, particles you have to fill in. So, this is your particles. Well, now for practice, we have something very nice. We have been doing I adjectives so far and a uh, lot of I adjectives we have done in our previous lessons. How to say um, negative, how to, how to join I adjectives, also na adjectives we have done so well we will see some opposites over here. Let us see what they are. In the picture you can see a polar bear feeling very very hot in the sun. So, well atsui. Then we have someone shivering which is samui. Then we have someone very happy. So, we have genki. Opposite of genki is Bioki, having a headache, not well. Then we have someone in a big hurry looking at his watch, probably late. So, osoi. And then by plane, it is hayai, which is quick and fast. Then we have the lion and lions are very strong which is tsuyoi. Please get the pronunciation. It is tsuyoi. A small t sound is there and it is not suyoi which is an s sound. Tsuyoi means strong. Then we have the nezumi which is a very very small animal and yowai. Yowai means weak. Then we have this mountain as it is Japan. It could be Fujisan which is Takai. Let us see what it is. Takai and then the opposite of Takai is Hikui. As you can see from here the size of this person and the size of the mountain. So, Takai and Hikui. Now then we have more opposites for you. Well, this is an elephant and someone sitting on top is ue. And then we have another elephant, someone hanging from there, swinging under the trunk is shita. We have an elephant which is huge and big, oki. And we have a nezumi which is very, very small 
which is chisai. So, in the previous slide, Nezumi was yowai, and now Nezumi is with Zosan, which is huge and big. Zosan is huge and big, large, and then Nezumi is small in front of the Zosan. Then we have this person running over here, Tanaka san running, very, very thin. So, this is Hosoi, which is thin in shape, and Futoi, which is fat and thick in size. Then we have this very sweet looking girl holding a radish, which is horizontal. So, that is Yoko and the same girl is holding the radish straight erect and that is Tate, which is vertical. Then we have Butasan looking at us with the nose right in front, which is Mai, you have done this Mai earlier and then Butasan and the tail is very clearly seen over here, which is back Ushiro. So, well you can practice all these Ue, Shita, Oki, Chisai, Hosoi, Futoi, Mai, Ushiro, Tate and Yoko. Well, we have some more for you. So, we will practice that as well. Now, you can see we did Futoi in our previous slide. This is also for shapes over here, Futoi and then we have Hosoi thin for shape and size. Then you can see the sun shining bright, Akarui and we have the moon in the night, it is dark Kurai. Then we have these people working somewhere, reading, writing something, busy with something that is Isogashi and this girl sitting doing nothing that is Hima. So, well opposite of Futoi is Hosoi, Akarui is Kurai, Isogashi is Hima and then we have one more slide for you here. You can see this small girl sitting all alone, all morose and sad, probably just about to weep that is Kanashi. And we have these people here smiling and happy that is Tanoshi. So, these are some adjectives. Now, there is a small audio, listen to this audio and let us see how much you understand. Nichiyobi ni nani wo shimasu ka? Nichiyobi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. Nani ka arimasu ka? Hai, tomodachi no tanjoubi desu kara watashi tachi wa tomodachi no uchi de party wo shimasu. Ah, so desu ka. Omiyage wo kaimashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Doko de kaimasu ka? Chikaku no depart de kaimasu. So, well there are a few things which are new to you over here. This is a conversation between A and B. I am sure this is understood. Nichiyobi ni nani wo shimasu ka? What are you going to do on Sunday? Nichiyobi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. On Sunday, I will go to my friend's house. Nani ka arimasu ka? Is something over there? Hai. Tomodachi no tanjoubi desu kara watashi tachi wa tomodachi no uchi de party o shimasu. So, well kara is reason for performing a certain activity and tomodachi no uchi de, uchi de means performing an activity at a certain place, party o shimasu. Ah, so desu ka, is that so? Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Omiyage is present, o kaimashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Not yet. 
どこで買いますか Where are you going to buy? 近くのデパートで買います。So, well, this is a simple conversation. I'll do the explanation and we'll practice after that. This is given in the script as you can see. And now I'm trying to add a few kanji characters also for you. All the kanji characters that we have done and some which we have not done also. So, I'm putting those over here and we will practice those as well. Then this is a simple explanation of the dialogue. It is simply what you would say in English. So, that is very important whenever you read this conversation, please keep this in mind that it may not be exactly the same. It is what you would finally say in English. Because if you do a literal translation, then the meaning is lost sometimes. So, well, we had Nanika in our conversation. So, well, as you can see, it is an interrogative word. It is a word made out of two question words, which is Nani and Ka. So, you just join the two and make Nani Ka out of it. Nani Ka means something or anything. So, how will you how will you use nanika? Well, it is given over here. Nanika arimasu ka is something over there. Nanika arimashita ka? Did something happen? Do you have a problem? Nanika arimasu ka? Do you want something? So, it can be used in different situations. You must be remembering we did dare ka in our uh, previous lesson somewhere dare ka. So, dare is for people as you can see dare is for people which is who in English and nani is for things. So, well we did in our previous slide dare ka imasu ka. For example, in a room you can ask dare ka imasu ka? Iie, dare mo imasen. So, with person you will use imas and mo imasen is no one is present over there. And over here, nani ka arimasu ka? Do you have a problem? Is something there? Has something happened? Nani mo arimasen can be the answer if there is nothing. So, that is how you would use nani ka. Now, you can practice nani ka over here. For example, like this nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you eat something? Iie nani mo tabemasen. So, now Nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you eat something? And if you say Nani o tabemasu ka? Nani ka and Nani o. What is the difference? Can you tell me the difference? There is a slight difference over here. See, a slight difference. Nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you have something? I am asking you. For example, if we go somewhere, if we go to a restaurant or, or just to a shop and I just ask you over there, Nani ka nomimasu ka? Will you have something to drink? Would you like a cold drink? And if I ask you, Nani o nomimasu ka? What do you want to drink or what do you want to eat? See, nani o nomimasu ka. And over here also you can say nani ka nomimasu ka. So, now think about this today. Think about the difference between the two. Look up the books and then we will talk about it again in our next lesson. Over here we can practice nani ka tabemasu ka. Iie nani mo tabemasen.
over here, you can replace tabemas with nomimas, kaimas, tabemasho, nomimasho, kai masho. So, you can replace it with any of these over here. For example, nani ka tabemasu ka? Iie nani mo tabemasen. Nani ka nomimasu ka? Iie nani mo nomimasen. So, you can give these examples. You can practice this with your partner. Now, we have also done particle de. Particle de. We have done particle de as mode of transport, where you go from one place to another by a certain mode of transport, which generally would be either a car or a cycle or a bus, a train, a ship, a plane. So, you transport yourself, you take yourself from point A to point B by any of these vehicles or things that we just mentioned. You have also done they in another form. You have done they as you use a tool to perform a certain activity. For example, you could use a pen or a pencil to write a paper, a thesis paper or a letter. So, you can write a tegami, rombun, sakubun, which is an essay, sakubun, sakubun, which is an essay. So, you could use a pencil or a pen to do this. You could use a screwdriver to put in a nail. So, well with the help of a certain thing, you perform a certain activity. With one noun, another activity is performed. So, over here we will do this day, which is which I have done just very slightly in the previous chapter. They when you perform a certain activity at a certain point. So, noun 1 wa place they perform an activity, which generally would be a verb, because verbs are action words. So, well, we will see how it is done. Vata shi wa uchi de benkyo shi mas. So, noun 1 wa place de perform an activity. That is how you would be doing using de particle de over here. Is that all right, all of you? So, please we will practice right away. There is a particle showing location where an action occurs. Kino restaurant de ban gohan o tabemashita. Kino uchi de nihongo o benkyo shimashita. So, that is how you would practice particle de and make sentences. So, we have some verbs for you. Let us see how we will use them. You see some children playing in the pool. Puru de dozo. What are we going to say? Well, puru de oyogimas. You swim in the pool. Then we have another picture where Tanaka san is having food. Where is he having food? Shokudo de tabemas. Then we have these children playing. What are they doing? Well, uchi de 
asobimas. Then we have another picture where we have Tanaka san doing something. Where is he? Let us see. Kaisha de. Kaisha is your office. Kaisha de. What is he doing? He is working. So, Kaisha de hatarakimas. Then we have another picture for you. Someone is watching television. So, Uchi de. What is he doing? Can you tell me? Well, Uchi de terbi o mimas. So, you can practice like this. I have been telling all along practice loudly. Then there is another renshu for you. This is renshu. The kanji for renshu is also given. Get used to the characters, to the script as well. Now, there is a picture of a person using a brush to make a painting. Brush is called a fude. Fude de eo kakimas. So, with the help of something, you do another activity. You perform an activity. So, well, brush de eo kakimas. So, this de is with the help of something. Over here also, we have this gentleman writing something with pen. So, well, pen de kakimas. Then we have someone cleaning. So, hoki de soji o shimas. Hoki is this broom and soji o shimas or soji shimas is cleaning the whole area. Then we have someone having tea and pouring sugar cubes in the cup. So, well, spoon de sato o iremas to pour or to put. And someone is talking on phone. So, well, using the phone to talk, then wa de hanashimas. So, you have both the days over here, particle de in the previous slide where action is performed and particle de where with the help of something an action is being performed. So, now listen to this conversation, audio conversation over here. Rao-san, kaisha kara uchi made densha de nanpun ka karimasu ka? Koko kara uchi wa toi desu kara, ichi jikan han gurai ka karimasu. Arun-san wa? Watashi no uchi wa chikai desu kara, kuruma de 15 hon gurai desu. Ii desu ne. And let us see what we have to practice in this. I hope most of it is clear. I will read it out once to you. Rao san, kaisha kara uchi made densha de nanpun ka karimasu ka? Koko kara uchi wa toi desu kara, ichi jikan han gurai ka karimasu. Arun san wa? So, over here. The question is left incomplete for the person to answer and the intonation is rising with wa you will notice. Gurai of course, we have done earlier and there is kara over here and watashi no uchi wa chikai kara kuruma de jugohun gurai kakarimasu. So, it is close by thus it takes only 15 minutes approximately 15 minutes minutes. That is really wonderful, that is really nice. So, this was the conversation. So, well this is your script again and you can look up the words, the kanji characters that you do not understand in a dictionary. Now, kara, we have done this a number of times, but this is just a slight revision how to use it now for you how to say different things in kara, how to use i adjectives, how to use verbs. So, well, kara is a particle and indicates reason or cause and you will notice that the reason is given first in Japanese and then whatever you are doing because of the reason given. Over here, you can see toi desu kara because it is far away, 
hachiji ni ikimashou. Let's go at 8 o'clock. Kyo wa isogashi desu kara. I am isogashi today. Thus, ashita ikimasu. Thus, I will go tomorrow. So, I over here is not mentioned. Well, you can practice kara now. Ega o mimashou ka? So, atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. How to use I adjectives with kara? Atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. Itai is, it is hurting. I have a headache. So, atama is head. It is atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. Now, you can replace atama ga itai for onaka ga itai. Onaka is your stomach. Onaka ga itai kara ega o mimasen. Kimochi ga warui kara. Kimochi is your feeling. How you are feeling? Kimochi ga warui kara ega o mimasen. Ima isogashii kara ega o mimasen. So you can give n number of reasons for not performing a certain activity. Now, Egao mimasen. So, over here you are giving reason for this is the reason for not doing this. You can change this as is given in the slide. Onaka ga itai. Iso ga shi kara egao mimasen. You can also change this over here. Atama ga itai kara iki masen. Onaka ga itai kara gohan o tabe masen. Mega itai kara. Benkyo shi ma sen. So, you can give any reason like this for not performing a certain activity and you can also change this as you want. Now, practice this with your partner. Now, we have practice giving reasons for a certain activity. So, you have some pictures over here. Well, Tanaka san has a stomach ache, onaka ga itai. So, what are you going to say? Onaka ga itai kara doko e mo ikimasen. I will not go anywhere. So, well, let us see what the second picture says. Tanaka san has a headache. So, what is for headache? I just told you in the previous slide. Atama ga itai. So, atama ga itai kara doko e mo ikimasen. Then we have this third slide here, which has Mr. Tanaka, Tanaka san working very hard in his office. So, what does he have to say? Isogashi kara doko e mo ikimasen. So, you can replace it like this and practice. Now, over here we have A and B. A is asking a question. Depato e ikimashou ka? So, as in our previous slide, Tanaka san was working. He says, Isogashi kara kyo ikimasen. So, depato can be changed for shokudo. Shokudo e ikimashou ka? Isogashi kara ima ikimasen. Sensei no uchi e ikimashou ka? Isogashi kara ikimasen. Also, you can give different reasons. 
食堂へ行きましょうかいいえお腹が痛いから今行きません。Or you can also say 先生のうちへ行きましょうか。先生のうちは遠いから行きません。It is very very far so I will not go. 図書館、ライブラリー。図書館へ行きましょうか。図書館の中は寒いから。行きません。It is very cold inside, thus I will not go. So, well, these are some of the things, some of the examples which you can use and practice at home. Now, we have been doing hiragana in our lessons. You have the ya series. Look at this. One a very nice curve, two and then three. Then we have U like this, U and from top to bottom, and then we have Yo. So, you have all three together. Now, I want to tell you something. It is just ya, you, and yo. Just the three. Ya, ye, ye is not there at all. This is similar to e and a. Thus has been removed. So, we just have three in this set of ya. Now, as I always do, I am doing kanji now also. We have two kanjis listed here hidari and migi. Hidari means left and migi means right. So, I will just make this character for you. One, two, three, four, and five. Hidari. So once again, one, two, three, four, and five. Hidari. We also have Migi over there. One, two, three, four, and five. Once again, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, this is a this is a combination of characters over here, meanings over here for hidari. You will just see it is a five stroke character and you can see something given over here on your screens. There is a hand, it is a combination of hand and uh, the carpenter's scale. Generally, the carpenter would hold the scale with his left hand and then draw his lines and cut the board. So, that is how Hidari is for left and you can see it is a five stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4 and then the last one is 5 over here. So, well this is how Hidari is made, the concept of Hidari. Then we have Migi and you can see the right hand over here. Well, it is very simple. All of us eat with our right hands. So, well, this is the hand and you eat your rice or whatever it is with your right hand, put it in your mouth and that is how Migi has come into being. This is also a five stroke character 1, 2, 3 and then this is the fourth one and then this is the fifth one. So, we have these two characters Hidari and Migi. Then 
I would also like you to do some verbs. So, there are two verbs listed over there. This character you have done if you remember like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, what do you think? Do you remember what it is? We did it long back. Well, this is I may, may this, ne? may and what do you do with your eyes? Well, you see with your eyes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, this is miru, mi, ru, miru. So, well, miru is one verb that we will do. Then there is another one which is listed which is tabemas. You have been doing tabemas all along. So, tabemas 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then 9. So, it is a 9 stroke character very simple to make not very difficult 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It is a 9 stroke character. Tabe mas. Tabe mas. Tabe ru. Tabe ru. So, we have these two characters here tabe mas and mi mas. Once again, I will make it. And then we have um, hidari and migi. These are the four characters. Now, how has tabimas come into being? We have tabimas first. So, well, you have a rice bowl in front of you and you eat it. It is placed on something, you cover it and it is to be eaten. So, that is tabimas. You have this rice bowl, it is covered with another bowl and then it is placed on something. So, well that is tabimas. Then you have mimas, the eye is given over here and with a person walking. So, when you walk you need to keep your eyes open and walk properly that is mimas. The stroke order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is a 7 stroke character and we already know that tabimas is a 9 stroke character. Now, you have some vocabulary, the vocabulary that we have done in class. I will just read it out. You can practice it at home and over here you can say after me. The meanings are given here in purple, the hiragana is in blue. Yoko, tate, sei ga takai, sei ga hikui, futoi, hosoi, oi, sukunai, hidari, migi. We have some more vocabulary today. Kimochi, toki doki, kagami, ha, sentaku, hoki, soji shimasu, migakimasu, sampo shimasu, abimasu. So, the meanings are given over here. You can go through the meanings. Now, as I have been doing proverbs in our, in some of our lessons, well today also there is a proverb for you, a very famous Japanese proverb. 
saru mo ki kara ochiru. Saru is a monkey, ki is tree and ochiru is to fall. So, it is even monkeys can fall from trees. So, even the best of people can make mistakes. So, you should never be shy of making mistakes, always learn from them. Over here you can see Sarusan is down here under the tree has had a bad fall is feeling bad, but I am sure will not make the same mistake again. So, once please you could repeat after me Saru mo ki kara ochiru that is even monkeys can fall from trees. So, well we have some new words with the kanjis that we had done. Hidarite, migite, hidarime, migime, hidarigawa, migigawa, shokuji, shokugo. So, well these are some of the kanjis. The kanjis you can check out and try to write. Now, your time begins, my time is over, your time starts now, you have to do all the assignments at home. There are lots of them for you, match the columns A and B. There is fill in the blanks, verbs are here and you can put verbs in proper forms in the brackets. As done in our previous lesson, you need to fill in the blanks with appropriate particles, read it carefully and then fill in the particles. Then fill in the blanks with interrogative words, read the sentence and then make the question and put the word and that is your assignment. Those are your assignments. Do them at home, revise what we have done in class here, go over the lesson and be prepared, come prepared for our next lesson. See you next time. Till then, arigato. Mata aimashou.